how a violin will sound, how the drums are gonna sound, how this is gonna sound, and write it, give it to musicians, and play it, and it sounds excellent. To me, you, and he often, it's often said that he did that in, in short spaces of time. So, yes, perhaps we can say for majority of people, it needs to take a long time to write music, but we must leave the door open for genius. Like you mentioned with Nas. Both who are talented. Like you and me. With Nas and yeah, yes. Nas and Nas. Was it a person or yeah? No, I, yeah, that, that's the question. The question was, is there a possibility of genius there? Yes. Yeah, just a point, a point, a point of correction. There's actually no formula to it. If you consider how the process works, because there's a lot of ways to do it, right? And in a situation like uh, Dear Mosa, I mean, Dear, you mentioned in your, um, um, what situations? First, there's the talent, yeah? And then you get the knowledge and experience that you may then use to craft and spoil your world like that. So, one, both having a formula, each person may have a formula specific to them and they are all cool. But to have a universal formula that we can accept is a uh, human race now is a normal Zim 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 Talent. Uh, this man is, is really from from where I'm from is like for us is like what, what do we call it? It's like uh, yeah, 
Yeah, he's like the, the godfather of Zim's spoken word. And poetry, him and the amazing Chirukure Chirukure. And I'm so honored to be introducing him to give closing remarks today. So put your hands together and welcome the amazing. so much. Uh, that makes it very bad for me when I'm invited in my official capacity because I'm not used to the official talk. Right, you see this book? This is uh, called uh, Echoes from Zimbabwe. This is me. A collection of my poems, most of them boyhood poems when I was young um, until I published it, I think. This is 2010. Uh, if I say that I wrote one poem, these, these are poems. I'm just uh, uh, coming back to what you were saying, just a little bit. There is not a single poem that was not defined by myself, as indeed by others who then took over and edited. This is why you have uh, works. Uh, otherwise, editors won't have a job. I have a lot that I really wanted to say today, uh, but uh, realizing that there is in time, you keep me how many minutes? Five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> eight <laughs> three. Jeez, now this thing is so beautiful. And if it ends here, and it ends without me saying much, then it's a crisis. I, to be honest, I, yes, I, to be honest, I want more time next time. But I, I want to commend the, you know, uh, Zim Talent uh, team for a job well done. I am, the crisis here, and I'm gonna, I'm not blasting really inside. I'm going to, to, to say that I'm disappointed because I thought that there would be an overflow in terms of participants. Artists, I mean, remember I was with the National Arts Council before. I left the Arts Council as director of the National Arts Council. Straight from college, joined the Arts Council, and I quit 97 as director. I acted for two years and quit that job for the stage. We used to do this. We would organize very uh, important uh, seminars or conferences for artists. And those who thought that they were making money at that time would not come. But some of them died very poor because they did not know how to manage their finances. I would not, I need not say wait at all. But I, I want to assure you that people have been rich through music in this country and died poor because they did not want to listen. A seminar on management is organized and they don't come. I expected this place to be full. I'm disappointed. At least on that. However, I'm very happy that this was organized. And we must take advantage of this. Some people think that they know how to write music. I'm saying, yeah, maybe for your little audience. But think beyond your village. Think beyond your village, think about the whole world. How can you conquer? Think about Thomas Mafford. I just wanted to at least just mention a few names. Okay, first of all, great songs. If I say great songs, just give me great songs that you know. Zimbabwean and otherwise. Chitegete. True Love by, by Lama. No, no woman, no cry. Yes, to stay on. One love. Quick. Dangerous. Dangerous. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, and let me uh, just uh, uh, make a list of some artists that I think are great. If you think of Tora de Masuka. And the composition is similar. She wrote for she wrote songs for um, um, Miriam Bakem, who became international. Most of Bata Bata, most of those huge songs came from Zimbabwe. You think of of course Utu Utu. If you listen to any one of the songs, they mean so much. I need the time. And of course Thomas Mapu. There's one called Josiah Hatte. You may not. They may not. Would you know that? 
Josiah Patel. But I George Svanda. You know, I love more uh, Matai Panati. Some of the songs we've taken a little bit from George Svanda. Uh, I wish I had time just to sing you one funny song, song that he did. Um, maybe on Twitter, <laughs> with George Svanda. It was DC, you know, DC which had shown in the very 1940s or 40s, I think. It was a funny song. So when I played it, my father said, Oh, we used to sing this. I think it came from Joyce. And uh, people like Dollar Brand, who then became, changed the name to Abdul Ibrahim. When I performed in Solos the festival, he was in the audience, and I announced him, and I said, This is my inspiration. Do you remember him, Abdul? Maybe most don't. He's the guy who did Manenberg. Do you remember the song called Manenberg? Yes. All those, and that's, and they, 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 they. they continuously inspire us. And it, many people, of course, Elton John, uh, Michael Jackson, and one of the most underrated, James Chimura. Yeah. Yeah. Marshall Mumu, yeah. and so on, or B.B. King, and so on and so forth. Uh, for me, when we talk music, these are the guys who can perform anywhere in the world, regardless, regardless of the language. It does not matter whether you sing in the middle or short. Think of the DRC. I'm not talking of the real Kwasa Kwasa, but Osem Mangwana. I don't know if you know some of the Kwasa. I'm talking of proper songwriting. Yes, inspiration cannot be discounted. There's lots that I did um, uh, highly inspired. Like I'll tell you something now, I wrote that in one day. Because Chris Hardy had been killed in South Africa. Remember, this is somebody who had spent um, 30, 25 years in exile. And suddenly you come home uh, and you are shot dead. Right? Uh, and so on and so forth. So I wrote that in, in one day, but we continued to sleep, wait on it for months. Uh, it is a pity that uh, I know maybe we are about to. It is a pity that uh, we don't have a, 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 a big number of attendees, but I can assure you that uh, as Zimura now, relating to Zimura, as chairperson of Zimura, I'm very disappointed with lots of copying that happens. Some of the songs that you think are great are actually other people's songs. In this country, I spoke to Jonathan one day, professor, about, about it. Uh, uh, but uh, we are still continuously talking about issues of copying. Copying Jamaica, copying South Africa uh, 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 doesn't help us. Music, songwriting is about originality. Yeah, we can, we can proceed later. We know we've overstepped our time and I'm about to cut it. But uh, originality is going to make you, if you're copying, in 1999, I performed in Hawaii with a group of boys, five boys, that I thought were better than boys to men. So afterwards, I said, boys, wow, why are you not popular? And they said, well, I think you are better than boys to men. And they said to me, oh man, there are a million boys to men voices in America. In other words, in vocally, we can't beat South Africa, we can't beat, we can't beat America. But we have a lot. Think about Thomas Mafun where he is, with the level um, to put. He did not try and imitate those people. Because you can't beat them. Naturally, they have this sweet voice. You know, I'm Americans. Or Michael Jackson and them. So why not actually write based on your own uh, 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 foundation, which is your culture, your language? It does not matter even if you are writing in English. Think about Yosundo. You, you know Yosundo? I think he's more or the top most African performer, you know, songwriter and so on and so forth. But um, I realize the pressure that we are under now. And the lady is giving me that eye that says, mm, round off. I'm really rounding off. And, and finally, maybe there's notes that I pretend as notes. But uh, I want to tell you, I was doing a research. We are filming with some uh, guys from the UK. I'm waiting with a, a, a guy called Lady from the US. We are re releasing rock music of the 19, late 60s and 70s in Zimbabwe. So this guy has released Fred Zimbabwe, IQ, uh, 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 
Catherine Masiwa, and we have people like uh, Manu Kambani, Elisha Josam, uh, Wells Fargo, and so on and so forth. I mean, for most of you, it's, it's <laughs> what we are saying is there are a lot of my big brother there is going to tell you that there are a lot of musicians doing this one. I assume that you would know Manu Kambani and so yes, on. Yes, yeah, he used to play guitar like Jimi Hendrix. Amazing! He, he wrote Jimi Hendrix may be dead. Huh? Jimi Hendrix may be dead, but Manu Kambani is alive. I was, it was amazing. Way ahead of most that you think were great in this country. Because he wrote music. The challenge with most of our musicians in this country is that they actually got stuck in copyright. We have great, great idea to marry national and the Muslims of now and the Muslims of Tokoma. We have the best ever in the Nekanjis. In the country, I never knew that that was a Zimbabwean who wrote, the yeah, sounds of Africa. It's Nekanji. Is it Kitty or no? It was a, a family thing. And so on and so forth. But ladies and gentlemen, there is a lot that I would have wanted to say, but as Zimura, also we are saying, please write. And when you are stealing someone's work, do it professionally. Approach them and say, I am actually, I want to use your, I want you to, to read two cents and I want to, to take something from you. I say, okay. it's okay. You know, there is nothing wrong with that. Please, just the original. And originality is going to pay off for you internationally in particular. Yeah. You all know about the story that I wrote, which became a book called My Daughter. It has sold more than my music, it did sell more than some of my music. Um, we didn't get 5,000 copies yet. We are finished. But the legal book called My Daughter. And the parents are saying, you have been unfair to the boy child. Who is also go through that process. So we decided to write, I decided to write, but I'm writing with uh, some of the called Ignatius Mothers. I think some of you wrote uh, uh, exams based on his works. And then, uh, this is just, a, I'm going to do an extract of the poem. And it's on a boy, my son shakes spear. Do not just shake your spear everywhere. <laughs> my son, I am proud of you. Today you have become a warrior a warrior eager to conquer and tame the jungle with your sharp spear that never misses. But as you walk and talk and stalk, never hunt animals you don't know. Even those that you know may be unpredictable. <laughs> My son, Shakespeare, do not just shake your spear <laughs> There are angry leopards and buffaloes and antelopes wounded from previous encounters with hunters. They are thirsty for revenge mm. and really do not care how that happens. So, be wiser than yesterday because today you have the chance to get it from me. Not so many are lucky. My son, my dear son, do not hunt on Facebook or WhatsApp or Instagram or Twitter. Animals on Facebook or WhatsApp or Twitter or Instagram are not real, my son. Beware, the skunks of you. It will dizzy you and silence all the jungle music for you. Don't fall in love with the leopard's skin and want it to adorn your broad shoulders. For you will pay dearly, my son, my son. The chameleon's makeup is meant to confuse you just like the sweet, and gentle springbok will tease you, encouraging you with never-ending promises, my son. Zim, zim, zim talent. Well, uh, I think that as much as we think that Zimbabwean uh, music is growing, uh, we should actually think about growing the industry further than where it is, where it stands. If you think of Nigeria, you think of uh, the DRC, you think of South Africa, that in, those industries are grown really big. And that's where we should aim at. Um, we should aim at a wholesome growth as opposed to just a few individuals. Wholesome growth of the industry. Where, where do you see the Zimbabwean music going as from the state that is being taken by the 
youth of today. As long as no, as long for as long as we have song writing workshops like we have had today, I think it's gonna grow. Uh, uh, unfortunately, if, if you know those involved in music or writing music, if they think that they can't attend workshops like this, then it's unfortunate because I personally, for instance, learned a lot from Mr. Ojulu, from the who was presenting. Um, I think it's, a, it's in the very way they say, you know, meaning education is continuous. There is never a point when you say, ah, no, you know, I've had enough, I've, this, is, this is okay, this is where I, I end. You have to continuously learn new techniques and so on and so forth. So, um, I think this was a good initiative. We should commend it. We should encourage it. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Albert Nyati. Lastly, I would just want to say, uh, by the look of the things, you